there's some special rules, right? Nick, you're gonna... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me get the music playing again. All right, everybody. So I'll do a quick little intro. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to game two of List Chaos tonight. We are continuing with our theme of executive authority. What does that mean? That means that one player gets to veto their opponent's list. So I have for game two, two of my favorite players in X-Wing, two sausage makers. We've got Andre. We've got Epionic. What is up, guys? Thanks for playing tonight or in, in Audra's case this morning or tomorrow. Yes, getting paid on his salary includes <laughs> playing x-wing i love it that's uh quite the sausage benefit making. and sausage making yeah i mean with one hand rolling dice with the other making sausage as they say <laughs> desi saying love the sausage so you guys are gonna uh spawn your spawn your list as discs if you haven't already uh -huh. um so i'll give you guys a second to do that i've saved them as an object so should i just get mine out or not is uh, the list is an object or the disc is? Yeah, the list. Okay, then don't 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 do it yet. Okay, roll do road roll first to go ahead and do okay. your road roll. I can do that. All right, so congratulations, Epionic gets to have the veto power here. So, what Andre is going to do is he's going to pick one of his lists and he's going to reveal it to you, and you get to say Nah, fam, or you could say You know what? I'm in. Like the Drake meme, like pointing, like that's me. So I won the road roll, so that means I have to... Oh, I got, I got the two you flipped. Yeah, Epi's on the right. Sorry, not congratulations, Epi. You lose. Um, Andre. Andre will have Epi pick and spawn a list, and then Andre Aww. will choose to veto or not. I have a list coming in, and then a, a second disc on the ready. That's what we're doing, by the way. Yep. Yeah, so one list you'll, you'll reveal. The other one will be he'll either... Have it ready just in case, because Andre will either say, yeah, this is the one I'll play against. So here is the list. Here it comes. Oh, wow. What a, who would have thought? Arc 170s. So the benefit of not being able to veto here, in Daniel's case, everybody, in Epi's case, is that he gets to pick the scenario, which is nice, after... Um, he does. He, yes, he does. So that will be decided once the list has been decided. So Andre, would you like to play against three arc one seventies, or not? It's three. It's two arcs, Sicko and Anakin. Which I, this honestly reminds me of what Will Scott was playing. Sure. Don't tell Will it's <laughs> ah! I'll play against. I'll get wrecked by this one. That's fine. Okay. Right. So that he, so Andre says yes. I'll get wrecked by it. So now, what scenario do you want to play? Uh, actually, before you decide that, Andre, go ahead and spawn your list. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Oh, it's, oh my god, I've saved it sideways. I'll, I'll, I'll drag it in. I'll put it over on this table, and then I'll drag it over. Can we see the other list? I do have them saved. I got you guys. So the other list... I'm just spawning now. I clicked it once, so I won't tempt fate. Oh, sorry, the other list. <laughs> the other list would have been my list. <laughs> From Gen Con. <laughs> Spoilers. Tomax with Sat Salvo Barrage, Bomblets, Backstabber, and Mauler. Uh, it would have been Starter Vader, or it would have been uh, Starter Vader and Merrick with FCS and Shield Upgrade. Which I think is really cute. Honestly, totes adorbs. You had Will and Isles prepped for tonight. Yeah, the man. Uh, and then your list, Andre, is a oh. FO list. Nice. Go ahead, you can bring it over. Um okay. We got Wylo with Instinctive, Malice, Predator, Conch Missiles, Lehues with Proud Tradition Pattern and Special Forces Gunner, Malarus with the Clusters, Midnight with Squad Leader, and Biohex Script Codes. And then we've got Quick Draw McGraw with Proud Tradition, Fanatical, Deterrent Power Cell, Special Forces Gunner. And he's debuting the new Firebird swag. Looks pretty good. I have to admit, I think you did a good job. Nice. The shield is down. Just in case, just so people really know which side. <laughs> Smart. Yeah. And then we've got the Firebird target locks. Very nice. Very nice. And the custom dials. Look at this guy. The force tokens is Sauron. I'm saving that right now. Save object. I mean, this is ridiculous, dude. It, it's it's going to be really funny when he gets dumpstered, though, like 20 0 with all these flexes. I'm going to say somehow. Go on, oh, you guys. 
Oh, it's the other yeah. other side. I like it. Oh, I didn't even. Oh. Ah. Yeah. But wait a minute. Which side is spy that's so. spent and which side is it not spent? I'm confused. Yeah, yeah. Does that mean <laughs> that it's spent? <laughs> Some of y'all be like that. I don't. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> Sandy in the chat. <laughs> Sandy, yeah. Classic Sandy. All right. So, Epi, what scenario do you want to play? Um, I have one agility. Let's start with that on three of four of my ships. So let's start with that. Um, so, that being be said, I think we go assault. <laughs> yep. Wow, I would, would never have guessed. <laughs> assault at the satellite array. The satellite arrays better watch out. They're about to be assaulted. All right, you guys. Go ahead and get set up. I'll put your list in. And I'll jump in and talk to you all after. Thanks for playing. Have fun. Sounds good. Ah. All right, everybody. You'll see my face in full screen as I put these lists in. So give me a second to do that. We've got to go over here to Discord. Da, 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 da. This will be fun. Going to, yeah, we got to copy the list here. Boom. Epi is on the right side. He has the boom. Uh, got to hit reset game as well. And then they're playing assault at the satellite array. Epionic. Can't spell. Oh my God. There we go. Epion Iv. No C. All right, and then Andre. Bygone J. Actually, yeah. If I'm gonna do their Discord names, I'll do I'll do Bygone J as well. Might as well. And I have his list right here. First order. Perfect. Put the list in, submit it, and we have our list. So now we can show you guys the overlay. We can get our betting open. There it is. Get our scenario in there as well. Perfect. Awesome. Top menu gone. Betting is now open. So let's get our bets in, folks. Hello there. First time in the chat. How are you? Thank you to, the, to those of you that subscribed to us today. Appreciate it. So just to give you guys a heads up since I have a moment of your time before these players are ready to rock and roll here. There's some big besides a, some serious event coverage for us coming up. There's some big things that are happening with us. Uh, all good things, but uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking about, um, you know, the responsibility and the overall l workload of, of, you know, what's coming up for us. And I think it makes the most sense. Uh, I kind of wanted to avoid doing this, but I think it makes the most sense to start off the year uh, with a very simple Patreon. Um, and, you know, instead of focusing on making printing a ton of stuff for you guys, it would be lower tier, like very cost effective, cheap tiers that would get you some swag, but that would ultimately be to help offset the predatorial amount of money that Twitch takes away from us here. So just a way for us to be able to kind of actually put some more money back into the stream versus uh desperately trying to get as close as cutting even you know um the goal of the patreon is that ideally if we get enough people that we would actually have some money to be able to actually put back into the stream and uh not just spend it all immediately on you know gas for traveling new events or something so yeah just wanted to give you guys the heads up well in advance that's several months from now but probably just gonna have two tiers like a five and a ten dollar tier It'd be some pretty cool benefits but it's not going to be, I don't want, this isn't a business and I don't want it to, to be like that. So yeah. Um, the podcast could probably, I think September 4th, I'm yet to do a, an official announcement, but it should be the first, the Monday of September, the first week. 
um, we will, or technically it'd be the second week, I guess, because it rolls in on the weekend. But that we have that to look forward to. Just a lot of cool things happening. But as we do take on more stuff, it gets more pricey. So we're just trying to be as smart about that as possible. You tested your rig for in-person play. Awesome. How did it go? Thanks for the tips. You're welcome. We'll send you the link in the Discord to check. Cool. Yeah, happy to. If you guys ever have questions about... The more the merrier, you know? I'm like... Streaming X-Wing is... Uh, we need more people to do it in person, for sure. So, All right. For those of you betting people out there, here are the lists yet again. I'm going to just do a double check on the colors because they're all off. So Luke Hughes is red. That's fine. Malaris is actually blue. Midnight is going to be green and Quick Draw is going to be yellow. Awesome. Okay. And then Anakin. We got Oddball is blue. Uh, ball is blue. We've got Sicko red wolf. Wolf is red. Sicko. Cool. Awesome. That is all updated. Let's get Anakin to the top. Perfect. Quick draw to the top. Quick draw to the top. They're all high initiatives for both sides here while I'll really for Andre. He's got some high initiative on Epi's side, but Alright Did you guys do anything fun this weekend? Any highlights? Anything you're looking forward to? As we are already 20 days into August It's really kind of crazy. I can't believe it texting Matt back. Thanks for joining. I will be on Planning Phase Syndicate's podcast after this. Might be talking about Gen Con a little bit. I think we already, already did that. Um, I but have spoken. I have spoken. But you'll find me there if you can't get enough of me. Oh, you know what? Let's do real quick. I was worried it froze. Let's um let's do our giveaway. So type 312 in the chat. Again, giving away this cool custom Chicago Range 1.5 ruler. Giveaways are going out next week. So this is kind of a good last last minute little addition. I'm actually gonna hide that because that's that that image below is is outdated. So I'm gonna hide it to not confuse anybody. 312 type 312 again this is our last one this is a, i found this i'm like this is i might as well give it away it's the range 1.5 312 custom ruler so you just type 312 in the chat Three one two now Man, the players are doing this thing where it's very common in TTS where they play the crate side face up. They're playing as a satellite array mission. Drives me crazy. All right, last call. Type 312 for the ruler. Anybody can win. Subs twice as likely. And did you know that if you were gifted a sub or subscribed yourself, you do have access to our sub club. It's a private part of our discord where we do extra giveaways and I fill you guys in on upcoming plans, get you guys to weigh in, vote on upcoming card promos. It's a nifty place to be. And you can check out the link there. If you have not already linked your discord to your Twitch, you should because there are uh, benefits for being subscribed. Just nifty. It will be mine. I'll ship it to you, though. I can fit that in a mailer. I think we'll be good. I don't think that that should not require a custom form. It's quite almost flat. But if you win, you win. OK, fill out the form if you win. All right. Counting down from 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, one, two. The winner is N Sniper one zero one Noah takes home the range one point five ruler. Congratulations. Is there a link about how I can learn how to make custom alt arts? Uh, I I don't have a link for you, but um, you just need you know GIMP, MS Paint, Photoshop is what I use. Make sure you can download a template from. Typically, cards are uh, is it uh, three and a half by two and a half. So just make sure that you that you make the card the right size and then you save it as a JPEG or a PNG high res. And then you upload. I use makeplaincards.com. It does ship from China. It, it takes about two weeks to get to me. It's not super cheap, but the quality, uh, they, they do a good job. And if they ever notice that there's an issue with the card, like there might be like a like a, a white stripe from like not having the card formatted properly or anything, they'll actually reach out to me and say like, hey, we noticed this issue. We don't want to print this and send it to you and you'd be unhappy with it. So let's fix it now. Super appreciate them doing that. Uh, I think a TIFF is, a, I don't recommend using using a TIFF. Just do JPEG or PNG. I would do JPEG, high res JPEG, R, uh, RGB. All right, they are ready to go. All right, congrats to Noah. Make sure you fill out that form. Looks like you did, right on. We are getting ready. We should. Oh, I need to. I forgot. I need to fix the uh, the dice cam. I'll start the timer first. Boom. All right. Round one underway here. Don't mind me. I'm going to just quickly fix our dice cam. Looks like it was already in a pretty good spot. Cool. Which scenario? I want you to guess. Take a look at the top and look at the spread. Turn one underway. Taking some locks on some obstacles. This is for uh, Wilo. Take a look at the timer. There's a symbol to the right. Same symbols we use in our in-person streams. We are playing sensor slot. <laughs> Come on, don't be that literal. Desi, you're killing me. You're, you messing with me out like this. Going fast and boosting. Also, I want to just shout out that these are two of some two of the best players that I've seen play. Very fortunate to have Andre on my draft league team two years in a row or two seasons in a row. And he is just such not only is a very kind guy, but he's very good at this game. We're playing assault at the satellite array. So the satellite icon means satellite array. We'll walk through it again. So I have all of them here. So that's assault. Can you guess what this one is? This one should be pretty easy to guess. That's chance. This is actually scramble. The little jam icon. It just looks like a scramble. Like if you were to scramble something, it looks like that would be kind of like the essence of it. I can understand why scramble a uh, satellite because they both Three out of the four use a satellite token. I can understand the. And then this one, we all we all know salvage. The crate is the crates. But yeah, we are playing a solid satellite array. That is going to be our universal indicator for the four scenarios. We use the exact same icons for our in-person streams as well to try to just like make things more visually appealing, but also just less words on screen, you know? It's cargo from Epic. Yes.
I love this like smooth jazz ambiance we got rocking here. So it looks like Epi is kind of seeding the top two points to uh, Wylo. Anakin's just going to boost. Take a lock. He might have range. He does. And on to LaHughes, he's more likely to deal damage to LaHughes because he's only two agility. So right now, five bets on the left, only one on the right. I'm going to bet on Epi then. I'm going to bet on the right. So here's our attack from Anakin who just needs to spend his force. That's going to be two hits and a crit. And LaHughes taking one. Shield down. All right, so that is it. No other shots here. We head back to dials as we enter round two. The key engagement phase tends to happen in the second round. Even though Epi got a shot in the first round, this is where you can start to see a trend. So big turn for both players. Kylo out of the fight for probably just one more round. He, he most likely will do a bank and then a boost to kind of wrap around. He'll also claim that point at the top right. Andre's in a position to pick up three points this turn. Also, I want to give a moment to shout out while they're planning. So guys, Daniel Epionic is a, probably one of my closest X-Wing friends. Um, and he, it's, it's difficult to even put into words just how much this meant, this meant to me. It's a very sweet thing for him to do. He, he lives in Hawaii. I live in Chicago. It's pretty far away. I was asking around if anybody had the core set, like starter set Vader, the new Vader, you know, he's six points, he's got the extra shield, he's got his ability, original ability, whatever. Because I wanted to play a Gen Con with that list, with, with the new Vader, but, you know, the new the new star core sets are about $80 after tax, like 85 bucks, and spending that much money just to get a card is really kind of irresponsible. So with like four days until I needed to travel to, Indian, to Indianapolis to play a Gen Con, Epi reached out to me and said, dude, I, I, I have it. You should have asked me sooner. And he's like, you know what? I think I can get it to you in time. So this guy express mailed, like spent like 35, 40 bucks, this card to me so that I could play at Gen Con with it. And I think most of you guys know how I ended up doing. I ended up making top four. It was kind of like a big part of the list. And I've never had somebody go to the lengths that he has to be a homie. So just want to give him some serious props because uh, he didn't have to do it. I didn't ask him to do it. He did it. He just decided, you know what? I'm, I want to be a total bro. The biggest bro move I've ever experienced from anybody in the X-Men community. And this is actually one of the biggest reasons why I love the X-Men community so much is that people are, they have each other's backs and um, it ended up, being a big deal, like it paid dividends going to the tournament with that card that he sent to me because I played really well with it. So yeah, just thank, shout out to Epionic. He deserves some serious love and kudos for just going out of his way to help me like that. Really pretty remarkable. It's a great story to tell. And we are moving as Sicko, nicely, nicely done. I don't know if Sicko, Sicko isn't really gonna have his arc in the best place for fire convergence, but he can use fire convergence on his own barrage rockets, which is like super good. Here comes Oddball, just slow rolling and taking a focus. So he, he's he's in a position he could do too hard next turn, that makes sense. And Wylo just boosts. I doubt he's definitely not gonna have bullseye, range two bullseye for a jam. Oh my god, does he have range two? That was range two? No. 
That was range three. <laughs> he, he checked the range. I thought there was a range two bullseye option, but that was all the way out. Range three. And look at that. LaHughes does turn down. Proud Traditions to focus after doing the hard turn. He does he does the evade and then focuses. That's right, because he has pattern analyzer as well. Two straight playing close to the rock, but he's fine. Malrus taking a target lock. Great. This is a great opportunity to get some damage, two or three damage on both of these ships. Malrus's ability will work uh, for the bonus attack. Although it might be, Sicko might be a range three. I think it's range two. Lock Wolf, just in case. Yeah, definitely. So Wolf is the one that he locked. Interesting positioning so far for both players. The only thing with Malrus is Malrus is Malrus, I think, is yeah, it should be out of Sicko's convergence, fire convergence. Here's Anakin getting up close and personal. Forgot that Andre has two sixes in his list. <laughs> Midnight and quick draw. He is going to barrel roll Anakin. Interesting. And focuses. Because he still has a lock. Okay. I like it. Feels like Anakin, the play with Anakin when building him now is always putting shield upgrade on him. Seems pretty popular instead of regen. Here it goes. Quick draw, taking a target lock on to Wolf. And then another. This is going to be no shot here, though, for Midnight. But it was going to uh, squad leader to uh, give nice. <laughs> To give a focus over to Quick Draw for a double modded shot. And Malrus will spend a charge. So here we go. Anakin will shoot first. It looks like range one. It is. Into Lahuse, who has a focus evade. So they already taken a shield. Double modded shot here. Has, a, has the target lock from last turn. Didn't need to use it. But going to need to use it this time. Spend it on the blank. You have your focus. I don't think you reroll anything else. Rerolls one into another blank. That sucks. Then the focus, right? You got your force. You got, oh no, you only have one force. But you have brilliant evasion, so you still be okay. No, he doesn't have brilliant evasion. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm keep thinking about Anakin from the first game. This Anakin does not have brilliant. So if you spend the focus, you guarantee you get one through. I'm curious the barrel roll was it was just to give room for. No, but the too hard would it wouldn't have been. Huh. And rolls <laughs> natty evades. Didn't have to spend anything. So LaHughes takes another shield down to one shield and three hole left. Oh, Midnight does have a shot. Huh. For hit crit. Takes a shield. That is Wolf. 
Now double modded range two shot from quick draw McGraw. Spend the lock on one. I think you have fire control. You do, so you don't have to spend the lock. But it's a blank. It happens about the, the best of us. And that is a blank as well. So the shields are down on Wolf. Ugh, shooting a Mal. It just this shot kind of sucks. Range three obstructed Malrus with the ability on or Linda Lahue's. I guess you go into Lahue's. Yeah, you needed three to think you had a chance. Uh, I'm not sure how he got two, but he did. And gets two. Still didn't have to spend anything. So now Wilo. Or no, we're going to check here with Lahue's next. And Anakin. Anakin only has a force to back him up. Four dice. As a focus. Not bad. Guarantees one goes through and you spend the focus. Anakin can spend his force. He and he takes one. So shield upgrade down on Annie. Now it's time for, do you go Malrus or do you do Wylo? He's, he's thinking, he's thinking, Malrus time. So it will be uh, range two for the concussion missile double tap. So first the, the, the regular shot with your conk into Wolf and Malrus' ability will make it three. So, and what I said concussion, I meant cluster. This is a cluster missile. Wolf spends the focus and takes two more so down to down to just four and now here is the bonus shot and that's going to be hit crit flat taking two so sicko down shields eight hole remaining wylo now is going to shoot into going to fire an instinctive aim Concussion Missile. This will flip a damage card over as well, assuming it hits. And... Just two. Hit crit with Malice. And doesn't get the double evades. Takes one more, takes a crit. It is a panicked pilot. Goodbye actions. Epi really wants to. He's like, all right, I'm, re I'm ready to do some damage here, man. Not sure if they resolve the concussion missile effect or not. So thinking you go into Malrus or Lehues. Lehues still has four left. Malrus has four. Uh, I'm not. Oh, this isn't a quick draw. 
Uh, fire convergence. Then he's going to use wolf's ability. No, use fire convergence. Use fire. Yeah. Reroll two. Yep, you got, you got. And uh, quick draw takes one, can bonus attack. And it's gonna be in to Wolf. Fire control for just one, or for two. So is the focus, wow. Wolf on one hole now. Been a tough round for Epi here. Sicko now can fire a barrage rocket. Is going to. I think you just do quick draw. Who has already bonus attack, so you can't. And you fire convergence. You really just like, for the love of God, no more rerolls into blank. Jesus Christ, I'm getting really annoyed on his behalf. Takes one more. So two shields down on quick draw. Quick draw is worth five points. Mercilessly, the round comes to an end. Looks like it's going to be two for the Republic. Or actually, maybe only one. I think the center point is contested. Yep. So three, oh, three to two. I guess it is three to two. All right. Quick draw might be just too far out. It's like that might be, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, Andre's in a great spot here. Lilo's ready to come in and jam and fire some, some nasty shots with Bullseye or with those concussion missiles. Wolf's about to die. That'll be four more points for Andre. Sicko has already lost shield, so, you know, vulnerable. The hole that... The exposed hole. It's really just what can Anakin do? Can Anakin, you know, if, if, if you can, you're willing to make a trade, you can trade Wolf out. Wolf's only four points. Well, Hughes is four points, so you, maybe you find a way to get Lou Hughes down. Yeah, thankfully betting is closed. They'll try to get your bets in when things are more lopsided. Crazy. You're crazy. One sec. Line up. Man, I'm hungry. I've not eaten dinner, and it is only seven. So let's see. 
Imagine wolves got double stressed. So no matter where you go, you're probably going to die. So you just try to get in the way, I think. I wonder if we see Anakin do a hard turn or just a, a sloop. The downside of the one hard is that, you know, unless LeHughes did like a two bank, the one hard just gets blocked. All right, double checking dials. I think we're ready to go here. Heading into round three. Josh, 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 you missed it, dude. I'll have to clip it for you. We played a 3-1-2 crew game between games because the first one ended early and you hit a three run home run. So, how'd the store champ go? Not fake news, dog. You hit a three run bomb. It was crushed. The store champ was not great, or was that not great? Talking about your player. Oh, uh, one and three. Were you playing Scum? Dude, Scum is just such a handicap, man. I really want to play Scum so bad. But, like, it's hard for me to go to a tournament with the mindset that I don't care about winning at all. Like, you just, like, Scum is just, like, it's just so hard to be confident that you'll win a few games. What was your list? Was it what you sent me with, like, Quinn Jast and Sarasu and Dace and stuff? Yeah. M3As are tough, man. They they get one shot at just so easily. So a side slip. What a side slip there for Sicko. And a two hard there from Wolf. Wolf again, only on one hole. Has Q7, so not clearing that stress. Wilo turns away. And is just going to rotate back. He can still use his missiles at the back. I just thought he would have come in, but now. He's got he's got Wilo facing the opposite direction. That could be big for that could be huge actually. Oh, look, Hughes getting real close to Sicko there. You, I would love, 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 love to see a one hard. Malrus blocks, but not onto the rock. That would have been epic if he blocked him onto the rock. Would have been epionic. Thirty-two arcs, yeah, man. I. Uh, that's a big number. That's, that's, that's ridiculous. They, they, they need to not all be so expensive, dude. It's getting ridiculous. So Oddball gets to do the red action thing. Oh, that's a self bump? He took the damage automatically, but you do roll for it. I did not see him roll a die, but he said he did. So that's just me being not observant. Sarasu hates saturation salva, bro. Ouch. I can imagine. Quick draw. Bumps into Wolf.
I would be super down for a quarterly points update. Or just like three times a year, you know? So four months, you get an iteration of points for four months is a long time. It's not nothing. I just think it, it starts to get problematic when it, start, it starts to overlap with like national events and stuff when you do it multiple, more than twice in a year. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I don't think they really want to do that though, to like do other external, like additional balancing, but it's an opportunity too, right? When new stuff comes out to like balance other things. I would be, I would be down for that. Oh, Anakin just sloops, okay. Oddball did lose a shield, and I think I just didn't update it yet. Yeah, there you go. Asmodee hates us because we don't buy enough product. I am not sure uh, how things are going right now with X-Wing. I don't think they're probably going good enough right now, but... There are some questionable, like, why they made the man, they dropped the Mandalorian down, but they should have just kept his loadout at like 18 or something, like high. So I feel like scum, like I, oh, what is he doing? Does he, have... oh, he has a, he can take a lock or something. He's gonna boost, okay. With R4 P17. Yeah, no, no Gen Con coverage was bad for sure. I'm trying to, again, I mean, I just interviewed and I'm trying to, to take, remind myself of what we talked about in the interview and just try to be optimistic because, you know, it's in my best interest to try to be, I, even though I'm a very pessimistic person. So that is going to finish off Wolf. Down goes Arc 170, buddy. So seven to two now, jumping out to a bit of a wider lead for Andre. And now Quick Draw will take a shot into Sicko. So strained, so just takes two damage. So six hole left. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think the balancing needs some work. I don't like I, I don't like that the the you know you kind of need to have five or six ships on a on a list now. I don't like that Republic gets to have six ships with, with ease. Like just like it's super easy to list build with them, just because you're always playing arcs. Anakin, uh, fire convergence reroll sucks that you have to use it here, but you do. Get an eyeball and you spend a force, all your force though. And hey, that is gonna be. Couple more damage and a quick draw. So down to that's a crit going through as well. The crit is a console fire. Quick draws on two hole. That's not nothing. That could matter. Console fire before you engage, roll an attack die on a hit result. Suffer one damage. Yeah, maybe not giving them a two pointer. Would have been good. Like maybe slider staying at three points with more loadout would have been better, right? Here's the bonus attack. It's gonna be one more damage going in on Sicko. Down to five. Still somewhat healthy. And yeah, again, surprised that he turned away with Wylo. Malrus has a range zero. It's going to be two dice, no mods. For one. Roll that evade. Yes, there it is. Sicko says no. Not today, Satan. But here is a really brutal shot. This is range one. Four dice into Sicko. And yeah, that's tough. It's going to be two hits and a crit. Sicko rolls the evade. Takes a crit. 
still uh, a couple left damage left crit is a wounded pilot could be worse All right, now it's time for the Republic to strike back. You go in and you're just gonna pour some shots in to quick draw here, get some points back if you're Epi. For just one. Quick draw, quick, quick, yeah, quick draw, safe. Barrage rocket into quick draw. Three on two. That's hit crit. Spend the focus. Quick draw. Dies. And Epi gets those points back. Needed it to happen. Big kill. Removing quick draw from the board. He pulls even here. And now this game got a little bit a little bit more manageable. As you have LaHughes down to just four. And it looks like this is a good turn for Daniel. He's going to score three points here. Three to two. So Daniel takes the lead. It's going to be 10 to nine. Nicely done. This game has had a little, little bit of feels bad written on it. Still early, but he got the kill. Ben is terrified of Padme, bro. Oh god. I uh, I tried to uh, I brought a rebel list at the game store. Uh it was Fen Rao, um Wedge in the A-Wing, Keo in the A-Wing, Boy Luke, and Bodica. And it was kind of fun. Put Brockets on Keo, just be scary, you know. Wedge is crack shot on Marsonship. Everything's cheap. Like, Fen is only five points. And I6 Fang, like, I, I wish he were scum Fen, but I mean, that'd be insane if he had the same ability in Rebels. So, into round four as we go to planning. Speaking of planning, I will be joining Planning Phase Syndicate. And uh, I believe it's, let me double, let me confirm the time here. Tanner, my messages of Tanner. Around, uh, it looks like nine Eastern time. So what is Epi going to do next? It looks like, it looks like that. It, I think only a one hard clears the debris there. Two hard might clear. Epi's in a much better position now um, with where everybody is. Malrus is stressed, so can't turn around. Wylo is going to have to one hard boost just to get back in the fight. And he's also going to be abandoning the top two objectives as well. I think the downside for for Epi here with Anakin is that he is. I don't think he can clear a one a one bank. Maybe he can. Oof, I don't know. Hitting the rock is very risky. So if you get Luke Hughes off the board, gets Epi to fourteen, get a couple of scenario points. Gets you, uh, gets you close to 20. Andre is right there behind him. What does he need to do? He needs to get Kylo to, to, to finish off Sicko. Sicko is at three hole. It's like even LaHughes could do it. You lose Sicko, you lose five points. But if you can kill LaHughes in the process... Is Midnight only... Oh, Midnight's only three points now. That's crazy, man. It's a pretty good deal. It's, it's a great deal. <sighs> oh, 
how fat like do you just go do you just book it with sicko it's like just do like a like a three straight or bank you could block you could block mid eye onto the debris all right here we go our questions will be answered in a moment First player is Andre. He rolls two crits. My gosh. Wow, Sicko stays put. He tried to bank left. He thought he would have cleared it. He definitely didn't want to stay there. They tried to do a hard turn. Yeah. Doesn't look particularly close to clearing, so it takes red focus. Who's next? That actually, that might be another self bomb for oddball then. he doing oh he forgot to uh do sickening maneuvers i think next all right wylo boost rotate we'll use another bump you want you want to, you're trying to get more than one shot into a hughes though but at least it's range zero now. Malrus, two hearts up. Do we, do, did we get a wounded pilot roll? I think we did. The card's pretty big. <laughs> Who's next? Yep, there's that lock. Let's take a red focus. This is another self bump. Yeah, geez. And it looks like you're just going to eat the debris there. So another damage on the oddball. Midnight, just stay stressed, no damage, no consequences. Well, if Anakin could fit a bank, he could try to kill Midnight, it'd be kind of nice. He can. He fits the bank, nice. So Anakin does have a force. Not really getting threatened by anybody else. So absolutely, take a target lock, right? 100% take a target lock. What a great opportunity to get a kill here. I mean. To take a lock, did you focus? 
You have Predator. He is going to take a lock. He doesn't trust his dice. <laughs> I, I'd probably do the same. Okay, so that's everybody. Everybody has moved because Quick Draw is dead. So Midnight will go first. Malrus will spend a second charge just to not be defenseless. That's actually, you know, Epi doesn't mind seeing that. And Malrus gets stressed again, so it can't turn around. Yeah, Anakin only has one force. That's a problem here. That's why I may be taking the focus. You have the Predator reroll, but... Takes a lock. It's going to be two hits into Anakin. Anakin is going to have to eat it. Yeah, takes two more shields. So down to shield and three hole. Here we go with a range one shot into a tokenless midnight here. You have an opportunity maybe for a kill. Pretty good. Predator reroll. You got you got Predator. Yep, there it is. He pings it. He's going to reroll. It's pretty solid. Can he get? Yes, three hits and a crit. And two evades. Midnight getting a little lucky there. It's a tad, but takes a direct and is down to just one. Wolf, will, uh, Oddball will have a shot. This is in the Lehue. Lehue's into range zero, into Sicko no first. For nothing. That is important. Nothing happens there. So now you have an instinctive aim. And can spend some more force. Spends all the force. And Malice, two hits and a crit. Needs some paint to, to live. Gets an evade. That's hit crit. A direct will finish off Sicko. What are we checking for? Range one. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, that's right. Gonna have to. This might. We might flip the direct again. It's a disabled power right here. Okay. This was from the concussion missile effect. Flipping over a damage card. We have to flip over one of Sicko's as well. It is not a direct. It is a console fire that still could kill. And it's a disabled power regulator as well. All right. So not dead, though. Hi, Cleo. She was trying to lay on my lap. Here we go. Here we go. Nope, that's not what I meant to play. That's what I meant to play. Disable power regulator. Both of them. That's been the theme. All right, well, gotta gotta try to go for the kill here. It's unmodded, unfortunately, as Oddball's been kind of running into his buddies. You gotta try to go for the kill. One hole left. Yeah, you have fire convergence with Malrus, but, but Malrus has an evade. Range two obstructed. You gotta go for it. That was not selfless. There is that. That's two. That could be. Could be. It's not enough. Two evades naturally. Survives. Sicko. You guess you just you just shoot into Malris. Sure. Edward seven. Thank you for the sub. Sorry, I took a, a long minute to uh to, to call that out thank you though how are you hey spend that's hit hit crit maybe a blank out certainly not but uh still taking a shield malrus's ability is out offline as well he has used both charges and some important things here great another great turn 
for uh for epi because he's gonna get looks like three uh ooh, i guess it's gonna be contested in the middle so he's gonna it's gonna be two points to none so 12 to 9. And now if you lose Sicko, you're not behind by a ton. And that's really where you want to be. And I got to say, guys, uh, Midnight's kind of stuck going. I don't even think Midnight can go straight without clipping the rock. You could go fast, but... You have to go fast enough to... I think a two-straight might clip the rock. Not sure. Great game, though. 12 to 9. Cat Pat. That's a name I know. Thank you for the sub. Pre I appreciate you all giving some love tonight. Joining in. Hope you had a great weekend. Looking forward to streaming Draft League games. I'll open up a sign-up sheet late later next week. Probably by, by the weekend. So that y'all can start planning out times. will be your unofficial stream of draft league that's greg of course runs a tight ship does a good job over there but he can only stream so much poor guy needs his time off we are heading into round five we've got a ship on one hole that's about to be ionized did we, I think we, we must have rolled for the console fire, right? I assume so. I don't know. Let me just check the chat log. Yeah, he, he, did, he did console fire already. We're good. GSP my two draft league games too. That makes sense. Yeah, because there's what, Hegwood and Ritter are in. I might give their Wednesday night slot a run for the for for their money though. I'm not sure. Depends. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stream every Wednesday, but the Daniel just needs to he's try to kill midnight. Try to kill midnight, try to kill LeHughes. Get LeHughes down to a couple hole if you can. Tighten up your endgame strategy here. Basically, Epi just needs to not lose both Sicko and and uh, Oddball. Him him bumping into an enemy really sucks too. Because if he was able to do the red focus, then he would have been able to uh, target lock Midnight. Although Midnight, I, Midnight might have been out. Oh, Midnight would have been out of range at that point. Midnight lose last, so would have been able to lock somebody. I guess Lehues. Got about 22 minutes left in this one. I'm enjoying this ambiance, man. This music is solid. All right. Andre is the recipient of the first player award, and we're ready to get rocking and rolling here. The sicko will go first. Nice. I love this side slip here. Stays stressed though, unfortunately. Lahues, one banks. Not gonna have a shot on Sicko. How about that? Only downside is Wylo. We'll probably still kill Sicko. Poor Sicko. Poor guy. Just trying to get in the way. Just trying to be a nuisance.
I'm gonna rotate back. Okay. Focus rotate. Malris is like, I'm just gonna go play objective. Might even have two. It's a good spot to be in. Wilo does run into Sicko, so now if you're Daniel, you're just hoping for a real bad range of zero roll. Like one hit or less. His focus is takes the stress. It has only one force as well. No, a rock. It's the rock. Takes just one more, but not, not shooting. Oof. That is an Ufaruski. And yep, too hard there. I would love to see a sloop from Anakin. I'm not sure what Epi dialed in. This is a really bad turn in terms of objectives for Daniel. He's not, he's might not get anything, depending on, unless Anakin is able to kill quick or at midnight. Oh yeah, great point. So, so taking the lock will break immediately because of disabled power regulator. So gonna just focus instead. DPR coming in clutch there. Anakin, what did he do? What did he do? What did he do? I oh, banked, okay. So can you fit a barrel roll? I think you can. I don't know if you can go far enough back to get Lehue's. Good evening again. Hello, Manfred. How are you again? Gonna focus. Just kind of chill. You got range two into Mal. You have bullseye for Bretter. Oh, has a couple force. Yeah, you blow your focus. Mal gonna need to spend maybe or take two. Why would you take two? Fence takes one. So down to two hole. Yeah, the first game was rough. Lahues just has a rear arc shot into the arc. Rear arc arc. Two dice, range zero. Oddball's taking a lot of bonus damage here. And nothing again. Double eyeballs yet again. Wilo, this is your opportunity to. You got the bullseye, so you get your three dice. Range zero. Two hits or more will kill. Sicko on one. Only one. Wait, what? Am I missing him roll his defense dice? Oh, he was strained. Got it. Yeah, bad spot for Sicko. So down goes Sicko, and that's a 14 to 12 point lead. And that's going to be... Looks like two more points up to 17. Oh, he gets three more. Yeah, because he's got the top right. Wow. It's not over for Daniel, but yeah, he needed to. 
Quick draw needed to, or no, Midnight rather needed to go bye bye. So now Midnight is going to be ionized at least. However, um, I don't know. Can Oddball fit like a three hard? I don't think so. So let's like. Midnight might be getting away scot free here. I forget that, that Sicko gets drained for doing. Is it when you do the side slip or when you place the card? Like when you assign. Yeah, yeah, you must gain one strain. Got it. Got it. Like I was gonna say, if 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 he can fit like a three hard, but I don't think he can. To just try to kill midnight. Fourteen minutes left. Dumb Santos saying, "Come on, Epi, I put my points on you." Yeah, me and you and me both were the two that bet on Epi. Skeppy Epi. Come on, come on, Skeppy. A little bit of a lull here. All right, here we go. Here we go. Probably your second to last round. It fits. The three hard clears. My goodness, it doesn't clear by just a margin. Look at how close it was. The three hard fits and he takes the lock. I don't think there's any way you can get out with no matter what ion maneuver he's dialed in. I don't think you're getting out of that arc. The arc's arc. Oddball doesn't run into something. It's a miracle. Yeah. Rude, but true. Mal's just going to focus again. Oh, no, he's going to take a, a Firebird's focus. Of course, how dare he take a regular one. Oh, nice sloop there from Hughes. He can now do some pattern analyzer shenanigans here with proud tradition. Here's, here's, here's the bummer, though, is that I... How much do you want to bet that Oddball's about to get jammed? It's like, I think it's almost guaranteed, unless for some reason he turned up. Or bank down. Lock Anakin. Okay. Yep. Well, he doesn't have bullseye right now. Can he fit a boost straight? I don't know if he can. 
Can you barrel roll jam? I think you can, right? They can do every every everything. Yeah, you can barrel roll jam. So then he can just barrel roll jam him. Oh, he did fit the boost. Yep. Brutal. First player mattering there a little bit, huh? Maybe. And so now Anakin has a choice to make. He's going to be able to use his ability. Is, v is VTG a factor? Oh, it is. It is on Lahue's, guys. So you might force barrel roll, spend, um, and, then, and then take a lock. You could kill Lahue's. I think he might be debating on boosting in towards midnight just to like get try to really lock in the kill. But I think you can you can like you you can definitely I think you have a better shot of trying to VTG combo into Lahue's with just a shield and three hole left. Especially with Lahue's just having a focus. Yep. Oh, he's gonna stay there though. He's not gonna barrel roll? He's going to just accept the shot. That's so risky. That is super risky, but we'll see. Yep, and then just going to take a focus. Do the ion bank maneuver. Yep. All right. So Anakin first. And by, well, it would be Andre, but he, Midnight's facing the wrong way. So range one into Lieutenant LeHughes. Four to kill. Or four or four. You need four damage. Le like there's four left on LeHughes. That's what I meant to say. That is a great start. You can spend a force. That's four. LeHughes is down to one. A shield and two damage cards. Yeah, he did. I was, I was, I was talking about. I was meant talking about um, Anakin as if he knew he could do his ability, but I think he forgot. Range two unmodded into midnight. Who's on one hole? For three natties. All you need is a blank. Epi spamming tab. He's spamming it. Look at his dice luck. And down goes Midnight! Down goes Midnight! Three points for Epi! Incredible! Some luck playing into it. That gets him up to 15. And now, all you need is one more into Hughes to get you to 19. VTG! For two! Hughes rolls a blank and he's dead! Gonna have to spend. He survives. Now you gotta... Oh, man. So now Wylo. He's got two points of the oddball placement. Are you sure? I guess he might. Big turn. This is a scary shot, though, guys. Because Anakin is... Okay, well, not bad. Three. Anakin rolled early, too early. He takes... No, uh... No, 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 no. Hold on. He, Anakin took too much damage. Oh my god, Epi's luck this turn. Oddball's still super healthy. He's still got five hole left. Or four hole left. Oh, he took a direct. Okay. That makes more sense. And... Wow, you're right. Two more points for Epi as he pulls even with Andre yet again. Well, actually, no, Andre scores 
one. So it's 18 17. He pulls even and Andre scores one. 18 to 17 with enough time for one more round. Let me real quick. For sure. Yo, guys, real quick. I think Anakin took one too many damage cards. Perfect. I love to hear that. So yeah. Going back. Because he had a shield. It was three hits. He had a shield and he rolled an evade. So you took a shield and a damage. Yep. Was, yeah. Cool. Right. Yep. Sorry. Cool. Thanks, guys. All right. So it all comes down to this. It all comes down to this. 18 to 17. Epi is guaranteed to get that point on the left side. There's just nothing that Andre can do about it. So with that said, the problem is, I don't know if there's a way for Daniel to be able to score two points this round. I know, dude, if Anakin wasn't stressed. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, he's sitting there stressed having to clear he's got it he's got to do a blue he i think best case scenario is that you somehow bump into the back of like use the side of him and you take a range zero shot and you get a you get a damage through man that vtg was real exciting you know he wanted it we could all feel just how bad he he wanted that man but lahuse gets he gets by on one right now Yeah, man, he really... Oh. And, and, and Wilo hasn't taken any damage, so there's just no prayer there. Eighteen to seventeen. It really wasn't looking very good, the first two engagements, especially the second engagement for Epi. He was behind seven to two. He lost Wolf. He had Oddball bumping into a friendly and then sitting on a rock, not participating. He had Anakin kind of dancing around, just trying so hard to kill Midnight. But the natties from Oddball, he finally decides to start being a thing in this game. And boy, did it pay off. The two bank boost. Uh, I assume Malrus. I, I want to think that Mal that he's going to have Malrus hard turn, like hard three towards the left objective at the top. So if you're Epi, if you do dial in the two bank up, then you can just kill Malrus because Malrus has got two hole left. You have a pretty decent odd chance of doing that. I just don't see a way that Oddball will die here. I think he's probably going to have. That's tough. I would just too hard oddball down and just take a focus. I think he's got R4P, right? Isn't this? Yeah. But then again, Andre will probably try to turn. He'll, he'll keep the stress on what he use. All right, we're getting, we're finalizing our decisions here, our mistakes, whatever we call them. And this is turn seven, officially into the seventh round. Oh, he banked with, with Oddball. Okay. Let's focus, focus, focus. It's going to get jammed probably unless Kylo slams into him. Oh, he went four straight. Huh. 
Well, you like to see that. What did he did he dial in the wrong maneuver? A three bank. Oh, he's just checking to see where he would have been. Okay, that's fine. So the four straight keeps himself stressed, just not. He's new at nothing. He might still have that point. It looks like he does. And there's Malrus. Malrus probably too far away from that one, though. Taking and uh, taking a focus. Wow, Wilo turns up. Trying to catch Anakin here and jams him. And Anakin just bumps. So, is that the way the game's going to end? It looks like it. It looks like that's the game. It looks like Andre's going to win by one point. GG's. So the final score? Yeah, right. We were all we were all so hyped. So it looks like Andre gets to 19. No, it would be 20 because of, of Hughes. And Epi gets to 18. Thank him real quick. Oh. That was a great game, guys. Seriously. Super. I thought the game was over two turns ago or last turn because otherwise I would have done Anakin's fucking ability there. But whatevs. We were. I was wondering. I'm like, man. I, I was like, he's gonna barrel roll, and then he didn't. I was like, oh, okay. He's gonna just take a rage one shot. Because <laughs> <laughs> then you see what I'm saying? Because I thought it was the last turn. Because why would I just stay there and then not spend my four? But what made you think it was the last turn? Well, we thought it was the last turn. We're, we're, we're playing. It's like the last turn, but it wasn't the last turn. So we had seven yeah, because you had like six minutes left on the clock and you didn't have enough points to score to he had 20. Seven, he, had, he had 17. So in my mind, he, he could, like, I, I thought was trying he to get, Yeah, I was trying to get these three and then um, Midnight died. Oh, you thought that you thought that Oddball wasn't close enough to get those two. I didn't think he was, he was connecting both of those. No, because at that point... Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah it's pretty that's good. That's why... Yeah. I won't say I mentally gave up, but I thought Lahus was my win con there, and that was my only win con because yeah, otherwise yeah. these different things. <laughs> right? Yeah, uh, it's tough, man. I mean, you seriously, you 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 were in such a deep hole. You scratch, you clawed your way back pretty impressively. Like that was a you were in a tough spot, and yeah, I, need, I, need I had a whole, I, yeah, I had a horrible turn. Uh, yeah, turning turning Malaris in front of everyone and just no shots and just like. Yeah, but Malrus, Malrus can be an objective player at that point. Like, you just needed points. Yeah, yeah. I think the... the that, that turn was pretty crap. Where, like, the yeah, gets wrong and didn't shoot on, uh, the... Yeah. Yeah, to go and stuff like that. Yeah. Alba shouldn't have been on the rocks. Who made this, who made this game? I mean, I'm glad you at least killed Wick Draw, dude, because your shots... Your, your, the, your first two engagements, Daniel, your, your dice were, like... You were rolling at least one or two blanks in every roll, and then having to use fire convergence and then re-rolling into a blank, like... Blank, blank yeah. blank, you banned. Yeah. Yeah, right. Ban, ban it. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, you would have killed Quick Draw around, around earlier. Um, yeah, maybe, or really. just sooner, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. it definitely just been around earlier. Because I did offer Andre to, to, to I, Regen. He, he chose not to. I greedily thought I could get away with it, and I didn't get away with it. And Damn. I think one, one damage was the difference as well. So it would have been a live on one, potentially. Maybe. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, man. That VTG <laughs> shot, man, into Lee Hughes. We got excited. Yeah, thought it was the win. Good. Thought it was the win. Needed needed one blank in there. That would have been the game. Yeah. And may I say no mods, just like just roll hot and just, just kill everything. It's awesome. Well, I'll I gladly I'll gladly lose games like this where it just comes down to like you set yourself up to win and then the dice were just like, no, you didn't get the blank that you needed. Like you can't really blame yourself for that one. It just happens. Yeah. It's just the way this game is. I thought the too hard would have cleared Sicko out of here too, so he would have been out of danger for at least a tiny little bit, and then it just it just wasn't there. Yeah, man, those lats, like, you look at them and they're like, oh no, I'm bleeding!